Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Kritika, an architect who loves creating architectural illustrations and teaching others how to do it too. In today's video, I'll show you how to design the interiors of a room from scratch using Kohoom. I love using Kohoom because it's simple with its drag and drop interface and the rendering is lightning fast. Plus, since Kohoom is cloud-based, you can work on projects from anywhere as long as you have got the internet access. Last time, I have shared a beginner's guide on how to create 3D design using Kohoom Architect. So, if you missed that, don't worry, the link is in the description. But for now, let's jump into designing perfect room interior using Kohoom. Let's open Kohoom now. Once you are in, you will see an option called New Project. Click on it and select New 3D Project. Here, you have a few options. You can upload an existing floor plan, start a blank project, or select a pre-designed room shape. I am going with the Create Blank project because I want to design a 6 by 4 meter master bedroom with an attached walk-in closet and bathroom. When you enter, you will notice that the drawing interface is open. On the left hand side, you will see all the tools for creating walls, doors, windows and furniture or material. At the top, there are options for saving files, undo, redo, creating renders and accessing your gallery. At the right hand side is where you will find property settings like adjusting dimensions, wall height or furniture details. And in the center, of course, is the main drawing area where we will build the space. I will start by creating walls. On the left hand side under the floor plan, you will find a tool called straight wall. Once you select it, click on the drawing area and begin sketching out your walls. I will create a rectangular room with dimensions of 6 by 4 meters. Using the same tool, I will add the bathroom and the walk-in closet. If you need to adjust wall thickness or any properties, just click on the wall, make your changes from the right-hand side properties. Now, the walls are set. I will label the rooms and it's really straightforward. On the right-hand side, you will find the option to label spaces and you can also assign flooring materials here. Once that's done, I will add windows and doors. For windows, go back to the floor plan tool. On the left, scroll down to window openings and select it. From here, you can adjust the width, height and the placement of the window. Just drag it to where you want it and check the 3D preview to make sure everything looks good. Adding door is just as simple. Select the door opening Customize the details like shape and dimensions and place them in your layout. For this project, I am adding door for the room entrance, the walk-in closet and the bathroom. With the basic layout ready, it's time to add furniture. I will start with the king-size bed for the master bedroom. On the left-hand side, there's a public library section. Click on it and go to furniture and Either search for a specific bed or browse through the options. Once you find one you like, simply drag and drop it into the place. I will also add side tables, chair and a carpet to complete the bed area. The library offers a wide range of furniture styles, so you can choose what matches your design. Next, I'll add window treatments. In the public library under construction, you will find windows. Just select one, adjust its properties and place it. Similarly, you can add doors as well. For curtains, I will search for both sheer and blackout options, drag them into the place and adjust their length to fit the window perfectly. To balance the space, I'll add a console table in front of the bed. You will find it in the public library in the furniture section. And I want to place a plant next to the console. I will also add panels to enhance the overall look of the walls. 
Under the construction in public library, you will find panels. I'm going for a simple wooden design with grooves. You can drag, drop and adjust the panel to fit your wall dimensions easily. Once all the major elements are in place, I'll focus on small decor items to bring the design to life. Things like books, table decor and other accessories can be found in the furniture library under furnishing. These little details make a big difference in adding personality to your space. Finally, I'll customize materials and texture to align with my mood board. For instance, I'll change the chair fabric to leather by using the material editor. Simply select the furniture, open the material editor Choose your desired texture and apply it. I will repeat this for the side tables, console and even the flooring. For the flooring, I am replacing the current material with a natural oak finish. It's super easy. Just select the floor, go to the material editor, choose the new material and save it. To finish the design, I'll add lighting. On the bottom toolbar, switch to ceiling view. From the public library, go to lighting, where you will find options like down lights, pendants and floor lamps. I will add down lights and adjust their height and placement to suit the room's layout. Once everything is complete, I will generate renders. At the top, there's an image video option from here, switch to perspective view and adjust the camera angle. You can customize settings like resolution, aspect ratio, camera properties to get the perfect shot. You can also use the smart angles for generating renders. For videos, create a camera path by using straight line, preview it and generate the final video. All your renders and videos will be sorted in the gallery where you can download them for a presentation or client review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial gave you some inspiration and helpful tips to design beautiful interiors with Kuhum. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more such tutorials and comment if you have any questions or queries regarding Kuhum. Also, don't forget to check out the link in description box to try Kohome with some exciting offers just for you. And follow me on Instagram at the rate art icky for daily design inspiration. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy designing. Bye bye.